All right, y'all, what is going on, guys? And today we're back with another banger video. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we got a vlog for y'all. Now, when I'm recording this, I know you guys might have thought I was out of school for like the past week, but it's actually my last day of school today when I'm recording. Obviously, when this video comes out, been out of school for like a week or two now. But um, yeah, last day of school, got one final presentation, and then me, Kyle, and Christian are gonna go to book off because they do want to sell some stuff. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring some stuff too. So we're gonna book off. All right, y'all, voiceover souls back in the building. You already know what time it is. We're back in the voiceovers. All right, sorry, I don't mean for all that. But anyway, we are currently at school right now. So this is my last class. As you guys can tell, we are very excited to be going on to summer vacation, even though I do have, you know, a summer class I am taking. But it's not like I got to go to school. It's online anyway. So we're, we're on summer now. So we're on summer. But first stop of the day will be book off. Kyle brought up bunch of random stuff to sell today so he's gonna be selling a bunch of manga that he had laying around i personally i'm just selling like a few volumes of manga like nothing crazy just ones that i know i'm not gonna read but first find of the day was this naruto on gamakichi right here and this was so tough but they wanted 55 dollars 55 is like all right i would have understood like 45 45 i would have been like all right i get it 45 but like really it should be like 35 that's like reality and then they actually had this one right here which is actually really tough i already own this obviously but like you know they only had it for 35 which was kind of retail for it but now we're going to be looking at the manga section and i already found a bunch of good manga i don't know what was good with them but today and i don't know why i didn't buy these right here i should have bought the three volumes right here i didn't buy them and i regret it i might have to go back in a future vlog to see if they still have it but i doubt it now the next stop was the nintendo store because kyle wanted to go into the nintendo store you know what we figured we might as well treat ourselves since it is the last day of class we finished another semester we're like you know what let's go get what we want so i bought some manga today and kyle wound up getting the zelda game that's pretty much what he came here for so i was just looking around the nintendo store while he was getting the game because you know i don't really go in here often but when i do i just love it like it's so cool to go in there but yeah he's getting the new zelda game i don't play video games like that i wish i did i just don't like i don't know i i like video games but then i don't at the same time like i don't know it has to be a really good game for me to get like into it um but now we are at kino kanuai and i had to get chojin x volume 2 i've been saying i'm gonna get it since i saw it like a few vlogs ago they had this chainsaw man keychain which was kind of random like you couldn't really tell who the character was but i liked that for some reason and i just redid my keys actually today so i redid like you know like what keychains i had on it and i was low-key debating it but i was like nah nah i won't and then i got volume six of this because if you guys i don't know if i said it in the other vlog from yesterday Day, but basically i just didn't know if i had volume six or not so i wanted up getting volume six because i remembered i only have up to volume five of the girlfriends who really really love you something like that the 100 girlfriends whatever now just giving y'all a closer look at the store honestly i was like you know what is this cool since i'm not doing like you know talking in person but i can kind of just take my time and like show you like things and like go closely with it and be able to just talk about it after the fact so let me know if y'all like that a little bit better or if you just want to hear me talking in the store like i don't know i feel like when i'm talking in the store you know it's like the music's loud i kind of have to rush it people are around like with this i could just sit there record a clip show you guys this show you the price and i could talk about it after but they had a bunch of these mini ones on sale for 50 percent off it was mainly the dr stone ones which i actually really like dr stone but like i don't know i understand why they were on sale it was like the two like whatever characters even though he's pretty tough i'm not gonna lie like he was the main plot of literally season one and i think season two right but they're pretty big for a mini as well i wish they had lloyd on sale though i would have copped lloyd because they're 30 dollars normally like 15 dollars i'd be okay with but 30 is crazy now i'm just looking at the other 50 percent off stuff it's just a bunch of random pins and stuff like that but the only thing about the gray tin foil pin bags is like i don't even know what like what anime it's for what manga it's for like i could barely tell they had a bunch of nendroids 50 percent off but nothing worth like copying at the moment so yeah then i started looking at this right here because i saw a classroom of the elite pins and i was like yo we gotta get one for amanda they had a bunch of different styles and stuff but this one was the ten dollar one everything else was like 14 and i was like bro i ain't getting no 14 dollar pin like amanda's not even fitting use a pin like that i'm just getting this because we are currently watching classroom of the elite and then i started looking at the little funko pop section and i actually found this sasuke it wasn't even a funko pop but like you know it was just next to it but that's pretty much it for the manga store we're gonna stop right there but the next stop 
shop is midtown comics i feel like i barely go in this and like i feel like you guys would probably like this store the best because it has like a little bit of everything it's not just like anime and manga you got like comics spider-man batman you got like you know just all like that type of stuff like superheroes anime just everything you could think of in this store and it's two floors high and it's just really tough in there so i'm gonna go in here a little bit more it is on the way home for me so it's not like i you know don't pass it so it is cool to come in here the manga section is whatever to be honest this is like the newly released section but then they have like a whole wall of stuff so they do have a lot of manga i'm not gonna lie you'll probably see another wall in a second when i show you all yeah so this is like the main manga wall it's pretty big so like it's not bad and they have some like you know different volumes that you wouldn't really find at book off or even at kino so i thought that was cool and this was me just flicking up so i could show you all this was the first floor and then going up to the second floor to their funko pop and like more like figurey section i found some of the new spider-man pops i don't really need anybody else the only ones i would consider copying would be like the 2099 spider-man that's about it but then i saw this and i was like oh my god they got the new inuyasha line so they only had two of them though they had rin and kikio which I definitely want to cop both and i feel like i would have but they didn't have um jockeying and i really wanted him so i don't know i really want jockeying and rin and i just want to have them together like at a box so i'll probably cop those once i see them at like kino or something or just see them together because i don't know i don't want to buy one without the other so i'm just gonna wait till i see it in person and this was some of their new figures you know i was checking for that new naruto on the swing like i'm still waiting for that so i can complete the figure set but they had rock lee and adult sasuke which was really fire so that was unexpected and then a bunch of more q poskets as well so yeah um nothing too crazy honestly yeah, it was kind of like mid today like sometimes i feel like the anime section is like crazy and they got like figures that i've never seen before and then other days it's just kind of like eh it's whatever it's like not too crazy but they had some cool stuff as always like you know it's still cool you're always gonna find something random that you wouldn't expect like i found this asuna figure i said asuna you know what i meant um <laughs> i found this figure right here from sword art online and it was really cool but like i wanted um i really want kitty toe i want a kitty toe figure i don't really care for the girls like the girls are overrated low-key but i do like sword art online i'm not gonna lie and i do like kitty toe so yeah definitely want a figure from him but i'm just giving you guys an overview of the store since like i said i never really get to show you guys a lot of stuff so this is what it's looking like honestly they got a lot of big statues and like i don't even know if you could buy those like i'm pretty sure you can i mean i don't know why they wouldn't let you buy anything but yeah like it literally says look if it's too big we could ship it to your house but like these are huge i could only imagine how much those are and then i saw these and i've been seeing these everywhere and i kind of want them like i don't know why i want sandy like i low-key want a sandy figure don't ask me why it's just like i think it's the kid in me um and then i saw this naruto and I, look at the price tag on that like what look at that price tag so yeah then going back out i was like you know what we're done i gotta leave i'm not gonna cop nothing so i wanted up heading out of midtown comics but like i said i'm gonna start stopping here a little bit more in the vlogs just so we could see what they got and wanted up getting a slice of pizza the dude gave me half of a slice since he cut it wrong all right, so I'm finally back at the crib, so all the voiceovers are over. Me, Kyle, and Christian, as you guys saw, we went out after class today because today was our last class, like I said earlier. So we were like, you know what, we want to go out and do something for the last time because at the beginning of every semester, we normally go to like Kino, the book off. We go around like that whole area that we just went to today, and we're like, yo, we got to end it off this semester. We always do it like every year, literally for the past three years. So we're like, today's that day, we got to go do it. And um, yeah, so we did that. Kyle actually sold some stuff at book off today. They wanted up giving him like 70 something dollars. I wanted up getting like 40 cash. I didn't even show you guys what I brought. Um, but it was just my Attack on Titan volumes because I didn't have the complete set. I think I had like 15 volumes total. And I know 15, 40 dollars, that is not a good deal at all. But it was just taking up shelf room. And I, in case you haven't noticed, I've been cleaning out my manga and stuff that I just don't use. So all the manga, I'm finally cleaned out. I'm no more manga to sell. Um, but I cleaned out all the manga that I know I'm not going to read or I just bought on like impulse. Because like Attack on Titan, I watched it all. I already read the final chapters online. It's like I don't really need to complete the series and the spines are just like it's the same thing over and over so got rid of the attack on titan manga now all the manga i have is stuff that i've genuinely read or am going to read um which is the stuff that i just bought as well and just continuations of series so my manga feels good it feels fresh like my, it feels better it feels like you know not just like when i first got into manga like really got into manga and i just started buying everything from this that and the third so feels good to clear that out and obviously you guys saw i've been clearing out stuff for like the past month to, to two months honestly with sneakers clothes and even just little collectibles so i feel like i'm a fresh start and i could buy you know some stuff that i want but not go too crazy because now i have my priorities straight but um yeah we got a quick little haul so i figured i would just show you guys what we wound up copying again my I, my plan today was actually not to buy anything but 
me, Kyle, and Christian were out. We got money from Book Off, and we were like, you know what, we need to treat ourselves for, you know, completing another semester. We only got one more year of college, so we were like, let's do it. In case you guys didn't see, Kyle did buy Zelda. That's what he wanted, so he wound up buying his Zelda game that he wanted. Um, I personally don't really play video games like that, but I know Zelda, like, I mean, not gonna lie, I low-key wanted to get it, but I was like, yo, I'd be a fake, I'd be a fake Zelda player. So, let's just show you the manga that I did wind up copying. We went to three stores today. Um, only caught manga from two of them. I caught manga from Book Off, which actually had a lot today, and I would have honestly bought more, but I was trying to control myself, because Book Off and Kino, and Kino had some good stuff today, too, even though I was just there, like, two days ago. So, this is all the manga that your boy did cop. So, I'll show you the big ones that I always talk about, because it's in, like, every video. Um, I ended up getting Goodnight Pun Pun, Volume 6 and Volume 7, so now I have the complete series. I did literally this morning. Before I went to class this morning, I finished reading Volume 5, so now I'm up to Volume 6. And then up to seven, and I'll finally be done with Goodnight Pun Pun. And it was a little bit cheaper. It was like $2 cheaper for each volume at Book Off. So I was like, yeah, that's perfect that I did get it then because I didn't want to, you know. I saved four bucks basically by buying it at Book Off instead of buying it normally because these are expensive. These are the most expensive manga I do own. They're like 25 each. So got this one for 22 this one for 12 because it is a smaller volume. So those two we got. And then so from Book Off, another series that you guys saw that I do collect is Blood on the Tracks. They had volume 10. I'm not up to volume 10. I'm only up to volume 7 if you guys I saw the last video and um but they had this one and it was eight dollars and these ones are only thirteen dollars so once i saw it i was like yeah need it obviously i'm gonna get up to volume 10 so very happy that i got that for eight bucks instead of 13 because i saved myself five dollars i saved myself 150 but um then we got called the night because i've been wanting to start this i'm not gonna lie and they were eight dollars each compared to nine dollars each so it was a dollar off but yeah volumes one and two were just sitting there it was the only ones there and i was like you know what i'm just gonna get it so, I ended up getting Call of the Night Volume 1 and 2. We'll see if I like it and if I'll continue it. Um, I've heard good things about it. There's an anime as well. Might watch the anime. Might might read it first and then watch the anime. But I heard it's good. And I think there's like 15 volumes out right now. I don't know. And then from Kino, we did get this right here because I don't know if I said it in the vlog from yesterday or two days ago. Uh, when we were at Barnes & Noble, I saw this Volume 6, but I couldn't remember if I had Volume 6. I didn't remember what the last volume that released, but it is The 100 Girlfriends who really, 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 really 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 love you um yeah volume volume six i got that because it was there at kino and i never seen these at kino and it was in the new release section so i was like yeah i don't have volume six then and then we got chojin x volume two which is from the same person as tokyo ghoul and i read the first one i got it when it came out and now volume two is out so definitely will be reading this so yeah nice little manga haul and then i also did get amanda something i got her a little uh classroom of the elite pin this is like $10 for this, so it's a mystery pin, so hopefully she can get Ayana Koji. We're watching Classroom of the Elite right now. She seems to be enjoying it, and she does like Ayana Koji, and I never really see Classroom of the Elite stuff, so I was like, yeah, I'm just going to get it for her. So I wound up getting her that, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy. That was a random little manga shopping video. If you do enjoy the manga videos, make sure you leave a like down below. Comment down below what series you are currently reading, or if you want to get into a series, or if you've never even bought manga before, and you want recommendations, comment down below so anyway that's pretty much it for today hope you guys did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one and we out Grr. i'm on a road i can't get caught i'm a bit different stage my mama blowing on my phone seeing if i'm okay i had to get up